What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my first game review and it's going to be on Marvel's Spider-Man on the PS4. Now this game for me was a lot of fun. I really would recommend it to anybody. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I got my copy of Spider-Man on Black Friday for 50% off and I actually got it on digitally for my PS4. So for me, I started playing it right away and it held my attention the whole time. I didn't really want to play any of my other games because the game was so freaking good. Everything was interesting about it. The gameplay was phenomenal. The characters, everything about the game. So the first thing that I want to mention is it is more open world, at least in my opinion, than any other superhero game. So other superhero games, I always have the feeling of you have to do things in a specific order to advance and beat the game. But for Spider-Man, you could either go and do the main story missions, or you could go and do the side missions, which were also a lot of fun. Or you can go and explore the city and do all the other tasks that you can do throughout the city. So all in all, it really gave you the choice of what you wanted to do, and you could go and do it. So one of the first things I did whenever I got my game is I went to all the signal towers and unlocked every region. So you have to do a small little puzzle and it basically unlocks everything that is in this small little region. So I basically went and did all of that. To me, it's so much easier because you have the whole map unlocked now and you can basically see everything that there is to do. The mechanics of this game were so freaking fun. All of the different little hidden stuff along the way as well that you spot. One thing that I think is cool that makes me want to think that Marvel is going to be doing other video games with other superheroes that are part of the Marvel Universe other than just Spider-Man is because there is the Avengers Tower in the game and Spider-Man throughout the game keeps referencing them which I think is really incredible. The swinging mechanics of the game is really cool. The web mechanics, shooting down and taking down enemies. The combat is a little bit repetitive but the more gadgets you unlock the more interesting your fight scenes are going to become because you have so many options that you have to take down the enemies super villains in the game include shockmaster tombstone scorpion rhino taskmaster electro vulture martin lee and dr octopus i did that all by memory i can't believe i actually did that there to me those are some of spider-man's top super villains but i think it'd be very interesting if they had sandman venom the green goblin but whenever you play the game and you see the ending of the game it really has a strong feeling like there is going to be a second spider-man game and hopefully we see those villains in the second game i think that's something that marvel is cooking up right now because of the success of spider-man I think it's definitely going to happen. Another thing that I want to mention for this game is that Stan Lee makes a cameo in the game. I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't know ahead of time. I just was playing the game and it happened and I thought it was so freaking cool, especially since Stan Lee had just passed away. The fact that they did put him in the video game, I thought that was amazing for me. Now in the game, there is so much to do that I could be here for so long explaining everything about the game, but I actually played this game so much that I actually beat and platinum the game within three weeks, which is something that usually doesn't happen for me. So one of the first hidden things that I want to mention is that you can actually find Ben Parker's gravestone within the game, and that also unlocks a trophy for you. So throughout the game, you don't only play as Spider-Man, you do transfer to different characters along the way. One of them is, of course, MJ. That's one of the most iconic Spider-Man characters, which is Spider-Man's crush or also girlfriend. Different parts, different games, different movies and different shows have it kind of set up differently. But in this game, MJ is actually Spider-Man's ex. Another character you play as in the game is Miles, which is the son of a police officer that Spider-Man helped in the game. During the end of the game, you actually see that Miles got bit by a spider. And at the end credits for the game, after each credit, there was something special. And he actually jumped on the ceiling and showed Peter Parker, who also jumped on the ceiling as well, basically revealing that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. So for me, the fact that they put this in the game where I assumed whenever he got bit by the spider that's something that was going to happen to me it makes me think that if there is a second spider-man game that you're going to be playing miles as spider-man i think that'd be very interesting or maybe peter parker and miles swapping back and forth as spider-man you get to play as them both i think that'd be very cool this game for me if i had to rate it i would rate it a 9.5 out of 10 it was so unique but in my opinion i did beat it in three weeks it is so freaking unique I would have gave it a 10 out of 10, but 
But because I beat it within three weeks of me purchasing the game, I'm only going to give it a 9.5, which is still incredibly high. And I recommend this game to anybody. If you're a fan of superheroes, if you're a fan of Spider-Man, Marvel, or just amazing gameplay, I recommend checking out this game. As of right now, there is three DLC announced, two are already out, but I'm going to basically be purchasing one in the spring, one in the summer, and one in the fall, just to break it up so I can actually play the game throughout the entire year. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But for me, this was so fun. The mechanics of the games, all of the suits that you get to unlock along the way, all of the gadgets, all of the takedown moves, all of your skills, everything about the game is so freaking cool and unique. It definitely, for me, feels like there's going to be other superhero video games in the future that are along the Marvel lines. And I think it's going to have the same effect as this game, where it's going to be kind of open world, story based, but you can go and explore and do different things throughout the city. Comment down below if you have played Spider-Man, what do you think of the game? Would you recommend it to anybody? I certainly will, and I definitely wish everybody would at least try out this game if you do have a PS4, because it is a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it here. This pretty much was my first game review. I just enjoyed the game so much. I wanted to talk about it briefly here for my channel. I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.